we're given the trig function f of x equals 6.6 .6 cosine x minus 2.8 sine x, and we're asked to find the maximum value and minimum value of the function. It's important to remember when finding maximum values, we're finding y values of the functions. The x values represent the location of the maximum values, but the maximum values are y values. Now we can graph this function either in radian mode or degree mode. Let's use radian mode. So let's first make sure we are in radian mode. So we'll press the mode key. Looking at the third row, notice how the calculator is in radian mode. So now we'll enter the function in y1. So we'll press y equals and enter the function. So we have 6.6 .6 .6 cosine x minus 2.8 sine x. Before we graph this, let's look at the window. Notice how we have the standard window from negative 10 to positive 10 along the x and y axis. This should be fine. If your window is different, you can simply press zoom 6, which will graph the function with the standard window. But because we already have the standard window, we can just press graph. Notice how we have a periodic function the y value of any of these three high points would give us the maximum function value, and the y value of any of these low points would give us the minimum function value. Let's begin by determining the maximum function value. So we'll press second trace for the calculation menu. We'll select option four for maximum. Let's go ahead and find the maximum value here at this high point. Notice how it's asking for the left bound, so we must move the cursor to the left of the high point, maybe somewhere in here, press enter. And now for the right bound, we have to move the cursor to the right of the high point, maybe somewhere over here, press enter. Now when it says guess, we can simply press enter, or if we want, we can move the cursor closer to the high point, maybe somewhere in here, and press enter. Notice how the y coordinate, our maximum value, would be approximately 7.1694. And now we'll find the minimum value. Looking at the graph of our function, notice how the x-axis is the midline, so we might predict that the minimum function value be negative 7.1694. But let's go ahead and verify that with the graphing calculator. So now we'll press second trace again for the calculation menu, but now we'll select option three for minimum. Let's go ahead and find this point here to find the minimum function value. So for left bound, we'll press the right arrow to get closer to the low point, but we'll still stay to the left. Maybe somewhere in here, press enter. Right bound, we'll move to the right side of the low point. Here, press enter. And then for guess, I'll just press enter this time. And notice how the minimum value is what we expected. It's approximately negative 7.1694. I hope you found this helpful.